quantum sensors are increasingly being recognized for their potential to provide reliable navigation solutions in environments where GPS is unavailable or unreliable. Currently, quantum sensors are primarily being developed and utilized in specialized fields such as aerospace, defense, and research. However, the technology is gradually making its way into the general public domain. Quantum sensors used for navigation typically include quantum accelerometers, gyroscopes, and atomic clocks. Here's how these work together. Quantum accelerometers measure acceleration with extreme precision using the interference of matter waves such as atoms. These sensors track the rate of change in velocity which helps determine the position over time. Quantum gyroscopes measure rotational movements with high accuracy using quantum interference effects, help maintain orientation and heading information crucial for accurate navigation. Atomic clocks provide highly precise time measurements by monitoring the vibrations of atoms, usually caesium or rubidium. Synchronization of time allows for the precise calculation of position by integrating acceleration and rotation data over time. Quantum sensors enable navigation without GPS in several ways. Quantum accelerometers and gyroscopes can be integrated into an inertial navigation system, which calculates position by using initial location data and measuring movement over time. Unlike traditional INS, quantum-based systems offer significantly higher precision and lower drift rates, making them suitable for longer periods without external corrections. Now quantum gravimeters, these sensors can detect minute variations in the gravitational field, which can be used to refine position estimates by comparing them to known gravity maps. Then comes hybrid systems. Quantum sensors can be part of a hybrid navigation system that also uses other available signals like Wi-Fi, cellular, or terrestrial radio signals to improve accuracy when GPS is unavailable. There are several scenarios where GPS may not be available. Tall buildings in cities can obstruct GPS signals, causing multipath errors where signals bounce off surfaces before reaching the receiver. GPS signals cannot penetrate through water or deep underground, making them unusable in these environments. GPS signals can be deliberately jammed or spoofed leading to false positioning data or complete signal loss, which is a significant concern in military and strategic applications. Places like dense forests, mountains, and other natural features can block GPS signals, resulting in unreliable positioning. Quantum sensors offer extremely high sensitivity and accuracy significantly reducing errors over time compared to classical sensors. Traditional INS suffers from drift, where small measurement errors accumulate over time. Quantum sensors minimize this drift, maintaining accurate positioning for longer periods. They are not dependent on external signals like GPS, making them immune to jamming and spoofing. These sensors are useful in a variety of settings, from military and aerospace, to civilian applications like autonomous vehicles and underwater exploration. In aerospace and, and defense, quantum sensors ensure reliable navigation for aircraft, ships, and submarines in GPS-denied environments, which is crucial for military operations. For autonomous vehicles, they enhance the reliability of navigation systems in urban areas where GPS can be unreliable in underground and submarine navigation, they enable accurate navigation for mining operations, underwater exploration, and tunnel construction. For space exploration, quantum sensors 
provide precise navigation data for spacecraft far from Earth, where GPS signals are not available. While not intended to completely replace GPS, they serve as an invaluable backup, ensuring continuous and accurate navigation when GPS signals are compromised. Their high precision, reduced drift, and immunity to interference make them an essential technology for a wide range of applications. Thank you for watching this video. I will come back with another interesting topic. Till then, bye and take care.